Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to the very first installment of the Happy Hell Hour Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. I am your GM for this new uh, midday stream, and joining us, as always, is Kim Stonic. Oh, hello! <laughs> I didn't see you come in! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Tia, uh, what do we go with? You want me to try your, the last time we go with Lad. Lad, Lad. Lad's fine. Tia Lad. Yeah! Hi. Mm. Uh, Here I am. <laughs> Justin Osterling. Did I do that right? Yes, you did. And, uh, you come around here often. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, last but certainly not le least, Pat Edwards. Hello, Pat. How are you? Hi, all my buddies. Yay! Thank you so much for being here. How's everyone doing? You're welcome, Tim. Exciting. I'm looking forward to going to hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm already there. So. <laughs> hey. Welcome to America. How'd you get there? Uh, I moved to Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> hey. oh, man, Georgia. They just banned vaping in Boston. I'm freaking pissed. We actually <laughs> thank God because I am pro no vape. Well, on a we, moral we don't level. vape nicotine, <laughs> so the, uh, uh, we uh, some of us have asthma, Tim. I'm sorry. Um, the sh it's the show's gonna be. Boston. 15 minutes of us playing D&D &D and 45 minutes of Tim ranting. Charlie Baker! So yeah, so uh, this is our the first time we're going to do a Twitch stream first and YouTube um, and podcast second. Um, right now, Greens Adventures is obviously podcast first and then Twitch 30th and then YouTube 31st. <laughs> so this is going to be Twitch first and we're not going to start with uh, we're going to keep it pretty simple, um, our faces, and then if we get into a complicated battle, we'll switch to a battle mat. Maybe down in a month or two from now, we'll throw in some fun stuff with, like, give us bits and a devil shows up. Um, but for right now, <laughs> we're going to keep it pretty straightforward. We'll, we're, uh, today is Wednesday, the 25th of September. But going forward, we will be playing every single Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So those of you in your Australias or wherever else uh, we'll non-constitutional time zones yes exactly <laughs> as i described it in the chat um <laughs> so let's see here what else do i want to say yeah we're eventually gonna start uh, start like a podcast feed if in case you get behind but that's gonna be either a week from now three weeks from now we're not too sure uh, but the main thing again is just here we are today playing descent into avernus uh, there might be some spoilers, obviously. So if your home DM is go, it says, "Hey man, don't read anything about Descent into Avernus because we're gonna play it." Then you know you should probably scoot. To be honest, uh, but if you're DM, <laughs> or not, or definitely. not, yes, I read in a book that we should go to this bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> in, in his opening salvo, Tim is encouraging listeners not to listen. <laughs> yeah, hey guys, you start the stream. Just don't watch it. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, Open I, it up. Mute it, just have it in the background. I grew up listening to too much Nirvana and Radiohead, and to me, the best way to interact with uh, people that like what you do is to make to, to like sort of loathe them and make them work to like it. That's sort of what my energy. Is. <laughs> Hell That's yeah. called negging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and if you're on the Twitch right now, thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you every single Tuesday. Uh, at 2 p.m. until around 4, and then uh, yada, yada, yada. So, um, you guys want to start? Do you want to say who your characters are? How about this? Let's start. And then um, when uh, you, the I get done reading the intro text, you can um, kind of act in whatever order and introduce your character. You know, like, so-and-so walks forward. He says this or whatever, yada, yada, yada. Is that good? Or anything else you want to talk about? Um Cool. I'm really excited about the Faustian bit bargaining that we're going to yes. be doing. <laughs> yeah. uh, I need a tissue. This is a part of the, it's it's, it's, uh, it's <laughs> going to be a bitch. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's, <clears throat> let me get my announcer voice going. <clears throat> Hello! Mm. <laughs> oh, Jesus, God. <laughs> no, thank you. I quit. What? what? <laughs> Welcome to Baldur's Gate, a veritable nest of rats and vipers clinging to the rocky slopes overlooking the Chianthar River. From their high perches in the upper city, the local nobles, known as Patriars, gaze down with veiled contempt upon the common rabble in the grimy lower city, which hugs the foggy harbor. The whole of Baldur's Gate reeks of blood, crime, and opportunity. 
One can easily fathom why pirates and traitors are drawn to the pl this place like flies on a carcass. Falling the river farther east would eventually lead you to Elturel, capital of the holy land of Eltogard. Or at least, that was the case until a few days ago. <gasps> the flood of refugees from Elturel has gotten worse since the news first arrived that the city has fallen. Everyone is saying Baldur's Gate is next, but no one truly knows who or what has claimed El Terrell. The Patriarchs pay a mercenary army called the Flaming Fist to protect their interests in Baldur's Gate, and by extension, the city itself. The Flaming Fist has gained even more power since their charismatic leader, Older Ravenguard, claimed the title of Grand Duke a few years ago. Apparently, Ravenguard is missing. In his absence, the Flaming Fist has sealed the city gates to staunch the flow of refugees. No one is allowed in or out. All of this was brought to your attention shortly after you were dra drafted by the Flaming Fists to help defend the city. After you are given an, off an offer you could not refuse. Your orders are to speak to Captain Zaj at the Basilisk Gate, which pierces the city's eastern wall and takes its name from the various statues that rest in its uh, niches, 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 and perch atop its battlements. Unseen beyond the sealed ba uh, basilisk gate, a dirt road stretches through the outer city slums to the bridge known as Worm Crossing, then to distant realms beyond. Dozens of flaming fist soldiers are trying to control an angry mob of commoners, eager to leave the city. Armed with only a vague description of Captain Zaj, a tall man with long black hair and a leather eye patch. It takes you a while to find him. A fight breaks out between soldiers and commoners, and you finally spot the one-eyed captain as he wades in the fray to begin throwing punches. Just another day in the city of blood. Uh, Alright, so it's a hot day. Uh, normally, Baldur's Gate is gloomy. It's kind of like London-y. It's foggy uh but for some reason right now when you're you're getting to the gate it's it's unseasonably warm um it's it's uh maybe those of you in more armor uh are are getting a little sweaty or what have you but normally it's pretty cool in uh, Baldur's Gate from the the water and the rivers and stuff like that but it is warm as you walk up to the this basilisk gate uh you do see uh this this captain with long black hair and an eye patch which kind of makes sense that it's this dude and you arrive just as this tiny small riot is getting cleaned up um anyone please introduce yourself in, in, in an RP way and say uh, who you're playing class and all that stuff too hell yeah I can go first please if that's alright um, so <laughs> an old woman half elf steps forward she has uh, bluish gray hair it's wavy and curly and wildy birds nests on top of her head she wears mini cheap looking bangles and a cape that makes her stand out in the crowd she likes bright colors and uh, she's using a little cane and she has sort of a grim look on her face and as she sees the commoners fighting against the flaming fist she'll turn to the rest of you and say well this is a fine mess we've gotten ourselves into <laughs> she is a warlock if that helps and she's just she's just a granny she is just here she's tired it's hot out she would love nothing more than to be back in her kitchen baking some scones yeah hulking over her is a almost seven foot tall minotaur woman her hair done up in a nice but ultimately uh perfunctory fashion, her armor clean, but not shining. Uh, she's very much a worker and a fighter, uh, not a show off. Uh, she lets the woman beside her do all going off and she stands protectively between her and the riotous crowd and also the grim looking man with the dark hair and the dark eye patch and <laughs> says, precious grandmother, do not alarm yourself. This place seems dangerous. Also, oh, she's a minotaur. Which is <laughs> <laughs> like a cow. <laughs> 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 
Sure. Um, and then approaching and standing next to Pesha, the Minotaur is a uh, red dragonborn who uh, normally would be very large and imposing, yet <laughs> he's still got he's next to the Minotaur. Uh, she's got about six inches on him. <laughs> and he um, is pretty straightforward fighter looking. His The one feature of note is he's chewing on a long strand of hay and he's got two long black metal twin swords strapped to his back. Uh, and uh, he looks around and he says, y'all just uh, point me toward the bad guys and uh, let me do my thing. <laughs> uh, huffing up behind them a few minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> is a small, relatively tall for a goblin, a uh, blue goblin with white hair and a headband, wearing nothing but a vest, so his chest is out, and he's just covered in tattoos with a big-ass <laughs> neck tattoo. And mierda! Uh, yeah, this shit's a photo. <laughs> it, you know, Indeed, it is, as you say. <laughs> Fucked. Sorry I'm a little late. Uh, no, I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't, you know... I thought there would be like a power move to kind of show up a little late, but then I realized you guys would be late and it wouldn't work. It's cool, but uh, let's see where it goes. Well, it's you, so I'm not surprised. Should we wait for this to die down or just jump in? Ah, uh, Tico, bo- Tico Greyface is always ready. Uh, I vote the, raw. the riot is starting to die down a little bit as uh, several of the instigators are being kind of pulled away. Uh, you do see some of the uh, <laughs> the flaming fists uh, pull some of the uh, 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 rabble rousers out and like into a like guard house at the gate, and then some of them are actually going through the pockets of uh, other people. And like, well, this is. This will serve you as a as a as a fee, <laughs> and as they're all kind of like forcing them um, either basically in because you're not allowed to leave Baldur's Gate right now. So there's people like, please, we don't know what's going on, man. This, yeah, let's get out of here. And then it just gets cracked over the the mouth Look at by these bunch of losers by the gauntleted <laughs> uh, uh, man who you assume is. Uh, uh, Captain Zaj, and he's just standing there watching uh, the, the final bits of this uprising. Not even an uprising, just kind of like a, a baby um, scuffle. Um, and he's standing there. What do you guys want to do? Sup, Vato? And uh, walk over to him. I approach behind Tico, but keeping myself in front of my precious grandmother. Oh, oh. it's... it's um, you must be the adventurers that we were told we're going to help us. So, sir, adventurers is too strong of a word. We're more like private security. <laughs> okay. uh, that works. The, the refugee crisis has stoked fears that Baldur's Gate might suffer the same fate as El Terrell, of which nothing remains but a damned hole in the ground. Apparently, our Grand Duke Older Raven Guard was visiting El Terrell on a diplomatic mission. When the city was destroyed. Uh, do you think it's a coincidence? I sure don't. Uh, Saren's gonna turn and spit on the ground and be like, just let us know what you want from us so I can stop working with you as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, the Knights of Eltigard call themselves the Hell Riders. A few of them escaped the destruction, and we think they're somehow to blame uh, for Eltiral's downfall. But uh, they've even... After we told them that we think it was their fault, they said it was our fault, which doesn't really make any sense. Those self-righteous rabble-rousers. We're arresting any of them on site, but that's left us shorthanded to deal with a number uh, of other problems, specifically one that we need your help. You see, the Dead Three, and this is something you've all heard about. You know, you've been in Baldur's Gate for a little bit. Uh, and Baldur's Gate sucks. And that's something that, like, when we were talking... Hey, who you? Some of us were born here. We <laughs> like Baldur's Gate. It's a land of opportunity for those of you who... No, no, they're too busy doing this stuff. I get to go around and just take whatever I want. It's good. Yeah. I think it's nice. <laughs> uh, Baldur's Gate has long been plagued by the followers of the Dead Three. The gods, Bane, Baal, and Miracruel. I thought we had wiped them out, but apparently not. These purveyors of fear and death are taking advantage of the current crisis to commit murder and, and uh, mayhem throughout the city. 
As my appointed deputies, he kind of gives you a wink, uh, <laughs> you'll have to license to kill these wretches on sight. Find their lair and wipe them out. Eliminate anyone who gets in your way and don't worry about collateral damage. If you do what I say, I'll see that you each receive 200 gold pieces. Hmm? Double or nothing. <laughs> it, well, and my gratitude, which, in my opinion, is worth, is worth shit. No, considerably more. I'm in line to take over the Flaming Fists. A few blocks away from the Basilisk Gate is uh, the Elson ta Tavern. A spy named Tarina hangs out there, gathering rumors for the guild. Uh, you guys know that the guild, capital G, is the Thieves Network. Ooh. She owes me a favor, so tell her you work for me. Yeah. Ask her what she knows about the Dead Three, and for the love of Balderon, be nice. Mm -hmm. Tarina has a dangerous side, and has even more dangerous friends. Vato, have you looked at us? We're the nicest group of friends around! <laughs> what, two swords, look at him, he's so charming! Big, smi big toothy smile. <laughs> yes, I, I, I see, but just, just in case, just don't do anything too stupid. Is that uh, all? We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're gonna do it, you're in, or? Well, we no. don't really have a choice now, do we? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Someone that knows how to follow orders. Uh, and he reaches into his, his uh, uh, pocket sack, leather th thong thing, uh, <laughs> and 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 throws uh, a, a, like a, a pack, like a little tiny. What do you call it? It's a sacky. You know, you Satchel? Like a, a, a coin purse? Yeah. Coin purse, like a coin pouch. Huh? He, he throws you a pouch your way. Um, to you, Pesha, and uh, inside... Did you catch it? Do, do Roll to catch, catch it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Does it hit your armor? <laughs> oh, man, you ain't gotta throw it. We're standing right here. <laughs> I thought it was cool to... This this one's for me, I but I did make a joke roll, and I did roll a natural twenty. Perfect. I'm just saying that this. I'm saying good good vibes Ooh. are ahead. Hell yeah! Not only did I catch it, I picked his pocket somehow. Nice. <laughs> I picked my own pocket. Uh, <laughs> like, I found my receipt. Uh, there <laughs> is a inside this pouch are f one two three four four uh, symbols, uh, kind of badges, so to speak, of the flaming fist. Um. Or, oh, I bet I could show you this in Roll20 if I knew how to roll, use Roll20 better. But <laughs> here we are. Uh, I'll copy it in our G chat eventually. Uh, oh, just be fun. But uh, yeah, this base, uh, he says, uh, with, wear these badges or uh, take them out if you walk, get into any uh, situations with other Flaming Fist members or whatever. Uh, and people will um, be a little more helpful if uh, you. Uh, Say that you're uh, you're with us, but uh, I pass them out. Perfect. Tico puts his on the inside of his vest, so it's not showing. Yeah, yeah none of us are proud of these things. <laughs> yeah. Thing. yeah, mine's definitely buried under several layers of armor, fur, <laughs> gotcha, sweat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what you know about the Flaming Fist, and uh, for those of you listening, is that the Flaming Fists are basically a bunch of assholes that are a private army that defends Baldur's Gate, but they mostly do everything to get themselves paid and don't really do anything to make it safer. Um, yeah. So, so it's this fantasy Eric Prince. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, uh, you have any questions, anything else, or uh, I can, you can... Be on your way, either or. What are these miscreants up to? What do you suspect them of doing? The the dead three miscreants? Are there others of which we should be aware? Well, there's the damned guild, of course, which I don't think they're... Uh, this doesn't really seem their style. These are mostly just chaos killings, if you will, uh, written in, in blood on walls and saying, like... They, they are risen, they are alive. Things of that nature. Horrible, spooky stuff. Uh, cultist. <laughs> <laughs> very I'm into it. I'm into it. No, it's bad. It's very Where bad. do we sign up? <laughs> uh, no, they're, we'll get there. They're bad. You don't... No, they're, the dead three are bad. I need you all to agree with me that they're not good. Please. How about they're we, what, the Lords we of let murder. you think about it? <laughs> Jesus raises his hand. Uh, you... How are we going to kill them if they're already dead? 
So, sorry. That's, that is on me. Uh, Bane, Ball, and Mercurial are not alive, but their uh, their acolytes are. Um, we think they they have they must have some sort of warren in the underground sewers or something disgusting like that. But you you I'm sure you know. And he looks at Tico that the sewers are uh, a maze. If and then he looks at uh, Pen. Got it. Find the guy named Warren. <laughs> No, what? Um, no, we're looking for the dude named Sewers. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Amaze. Can I roll? This should be interesting. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. no. Can I? You're just so oh. amazing. <laughs> can can I roll religion uh, to see if I know anything about Bane Ball Please and do. Last Guy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, I got a seven plus two. That's a nine. <laughs> She's old. <laughs> hey, I mean, uh, it's not super difficult to figure out. Let me um, pull up. I took religion, if that helps. Oh, Also, yeah, I'm a cleric. Wanna... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you can just receive your wisdom here. Yeah, do you want to roll as well, Tia? Sure. Uh, Fifteen. That's good enough. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, the dead three are evil adventurers named Bane, Ball, and Miracle. Uh, basically, you know that they uh, started off as evil adventurers and they became gods. Uh, and then when they became gods, they want to become even better gods. But you, you, they, that didn't really work out for them, so they were murdered. But, uh, but or whatever the, the good version of murder is, where good people kill bad people. Um, <laughs> executed. Executed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> murder. Uh, while their power is quite uh, diminished, um, they kind of put down contingency plans throughout um, uh, Faerun um, to make sure they can come back. And uh, many of the, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, D&D books, um, lore, history, things like that, has included. And this is what Pesha knows. You're like, D&D books? What am I saying? <laughs> Uh, 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 but basically, you know that they have every, you know, couple, handful of years, dozens, hundreds, uh, they kind of, uh, it's the same story, right? Cultist tries to re- resurrect uh, evil god, yada, yada, yada. And right now, it, it, it seems like uh, they, uh, the three of them are, are getting nasty um, with like some of their signs being painted on walls. Uh, some of uh, the murderers will won't have anything stolen from them. They'll have like their their um, uh, wrists slashed and maybe like head caved in, but that's it. Uh, or like completely torn to shreds, but it, with like their gold pouch and, and jewels and things like that. Um, uh, Bane is the god of tyranny. Um, the uh, ball is the god of murder. And Mercurial is uh, do, 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 is the Lord of Bones. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, Mercurial is kind of neat. I'm into this guy. Uh, but yeah, so basically, you you since you have uh, been in Baldur's Gate for a little bit, uh, you've seen some stuff like this. But yeah, recently in the past like ten days or so, uh, things have gotten much much worse, and people are um, staying inside much more than they even did before. Because Baldur's Gate is not super safe on on a good day. So, well, again, some of us live here. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, all of us live here. You you get by, you know, you get paid, you, you do your thing, you do your thing. If there's nothing else, I I have many other important matters to attend to. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Um, yeah, you know where the tavern is. It is. Over there, um, if you look on your version of Roll20, let me switch to the... Whoa! Boop! Boop! boop. Um, let me put you... Yeah, so let's switch to that. Oh, um, God. There we go. I need a third screen. Isn't that silly to say it right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so you are, you're in the Basilisk Gate, which leads to the uh, outer city. And just a little bit back... Uh, you, it's kind of like a couple blocks uh, in, kind of towards the water. It's something called the Elf Song Tavern. Those of you on Twitch can see the map, and uh, I believe uh, you, they cannot see the uh, words. Is that correct? Does your map have words on Roll20? No. No. In Roll20, no words. 
Yeah, I don't know how it's to. It's okay. I have it. Twitch, so I can read the words. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, chat. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the guy that already subscribed, by the way. Thank what's you. up? I said shout out to the guy that already subscribed, or lady. Oh, first thing. I don't know, who Trevor. I don't. Oh, the Trevor Project. Oh wait. Oh no, that was something. Different. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you everyone for subscribing in the bits. I missed a few earlier. Um, oh shit! So I'm just Whoa. gonna move you. Yeah, you guys move throughout. Uh, actually, I got this handy dandy. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to uh, throw anything uh, your way. Okay, these are all. I got this these cool like encounter cards, but it's just for everyone. The uh, uh, fucking special edition box dice come with these really cool. What? Um, Cards and everything. When did we get our copies, Tim? <laughs> well, when did we get our copies, well, Tim? Let's see what we can do. Let me call my good friend, Greg Tito. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, for fun, roll on the random encounter table. Even though I just told you I wasn't going to uh, <laughs> do that. I'm a liar. Let's see if I can find it. Do it. I'll, I'll find something. All right, you're in the lower city. Fun little character trait, because I don't think I ever told you guys this. He doesn't have a sword. He has a sharpened piece of rebar. Ooh! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Uh, um, Tico, can you roll a d20, please? Ah, oh, beans, I can. Will I? <laughs> uh, 13. 13. Okay, and then... Um... Alright, my girlfriend has an English degree and yells at me a lot. <laughs> Uh, and then um, uh, two swords. Can you roll a d10? Mm hmm. Yeah, because rebar is cool. Mm -hmm. For you, Tim. I'm going to call you the littlest shiv. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Add it to the names. Add it to the names. Roll shiv. <laughs> uh, what'd you say, Pat? Oh, that's good. Seven. Seven. Uh, okay, you, uh, as you're kind of trudging your way through the, um, uh, uh, streets that you see, uh, uh, I get a roll now too, it's my turn. Boop! <laughs> Three beggars covered in, uh, shitty clothes. Uh, uh, please, they won't let us leave to go to our farms. Can we have a bite to eat? Maybe some copper to wet my whistles? Jingado is off. I'm walk out. So I'm a priest, and I will <laughs> gladly help. Uh, Saren has probably brought some baked pastries for the road. <laughs> so she's going to be like, all right, here you go. And she hands them each like a croissant. <laughs> if you get in trouble, call the baker's crew. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, who can I say helped us? Dico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Master Tico, thank you so much, and your friends, t uh, friends of Tico, uh, and and they just wander off. Um, and now we're I'm going to switch you over to um, the Elson Tavern. Let me see. Uh, yeah. So, and as I was telling everyone earlier, uh, I'm uh, I'm using a mix oh. between Roll Twenty and D and D Beyond. Uh, and, uh, so you, what you'll see on, on the Twitch side is a little bit of both. Uh, you're going to see my screen a little bit. Uh, for the most part, I'm going to hide it from you, but sometimes I'll pop it up, see what you can see. Um, and you each, I'm tracking experience based on milestones, but if I wasn't, you guys just got, like, good points experience. And actually, I should write down that you gave. We all got good point experience? Absolutely. Hey, guys. <laughs> I got good. I mean, I would, yeah. Two swords would have given them copper. Money is yeah. okay. meaningless to him. Chico was specifically eating a piece of food when he walked out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't steal from them, so that in in, in some version, that is... Uh, in uh, fairness, they had nothing to steal. Is, I, I don't want him to get any credit. Off their their back. In Tico's world, not doing harm to someone is an act of benevolence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys blame Dungeons & Dragons for putting winning as evil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not realizing that... My setup is not as conducive, but we're learning. Let me, I'll just use the book to read these things. I don't need to hide stuff. Okay. Yeah, sorry if I stepped on Pesha's action earlier with the beggars. 
Okay, good. If I ever interrupt, just be like, shut up, Kim. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. You you are my precious elder grandmother. Yes. Also, two people can help like beggars. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. It's like I want to kill them. I want to save them. Um, <laughs> all right. So yeah, you uh you, you make your way uh to the tavern. Let me see if there's any fun text to read aloud. There's not. Uh, it's kind of like a shitty tavern, but it you know it's 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 on the uh, way to the docks, not quite a dockside bar, but it, it's sort of um, uh, close to it. Um, y- would any of you probably have gone to this tavern before? Probably Saren and Tico, I would say, because we're drinking buddies and mm-hmm. we probably get this kicked out cool. of most bars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just routy. shift to the different yeah, bars. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, do any of you speak Aaron Elvish? Oh, he drinks Tico under the table. Tico can't, it's too small. <laughs> <laughs> I do speak uh, Elvish. Okay. Any, anyone else speak that language? I nope. don't nope. think I do. I'm 90% sure I don't. I don't. Nope. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, um, Saren, you would know that this bar is famous um, because it's it's either haunted, cursed, or something along those lines. Um, where every now and again, seemingly random, the voice of uh, a widowed woman whose um, partner died at sea starts singing in Elven. Um, And even though this is sort of like a a dingy uh, kind of dive bar, everyone kind of stops what they're doing and listens. It's, It's like the locals don't like it when you interrupt the the uh, the singing maiden there uh, okay. it's kind of like a, a Taylor Swift thing. concert yeah it's well i want to go it's like a, a Taylor Swift. It, it basically she starts singing and then everyone starts getting depressed uh, oh. which is like I'm already there yeah it's like wait have you really so an adele concert oh, okay. yeah <laughs> great um, so yeah, uh, as you enter in, there's a huge, as you can see on your map here, uh, there's a huge uh, half ogre lady uh, th- standing in front of the door. Uh, Is she bigger than me? Oh yeah, she's huge. <laughs> yeah, she's big. Uh, on, on the map, she takes up the. She's four squares. So big. <laughs> she just uh, doesn't pay you any mind. Just kind of like sweating, kind of like hunched over, kind of trying to get air into her pits as. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Would either Tico or I know her? Is she a regular or just yeah, like you know. just she's chilling? the she's the bouncer for the Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And she isn't Would uh, we know her name? You probably would know her name. Her name's Skuna. Skuna. Hey, Skuna, what's up? Uh, not the little one. Just go in, leave me alone. <laughs> I miss you. You're so beautiful and strong. Stop, stop it. She visibly blushes a little bit. Hey, I want to climb that tree if you know what stop. I'm saying. Stop. Oh. If you're not careful, you'll have a good time. <laughs> it, get out of here, though. It's too hot for this. Oh, with you in the room. I agree. Uh, you're... And she, she lightly punches you, and you go flying. No! <laughs> <laughs> Blocks over. Like a stitch just bounces. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Go on, and don't cause any problems. Uh, Saren's gonna pause and introduce uh, Skuna to Pesha and Two Swords. Be like, these are my friends. Treat them nice. Oh, you here? <laughs> She's on these like... winding paths. I'm glad to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Whatever. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I see you're a bouncer. You know, I'm also kind of something of a bouncer. If you ever want to talk shop, <laughs> I work at this. I work at this little bakery uptown. <laughs> Are you trying to um, uh, project a, a bouncer energy, or are you still projecting um, your friendly neighborhood bouncer type vibe? I'm asking, should you roll an in intimidation, not to try oh, to scare no. her, but to show her? You know. Uh no, I just. Have a giant dragon board, okay. but no, his energy is very like we're the, we're the same. <laughs> we do the same job. Uh, <laughs> sure, we are. Okay, <laughs> get out of here. I, I want to waddle over it, to towards. Do, do you want to push me to like show that you're really big and strong? <laughs> <laughs> uh, should I? I don't want to hurt you. Or it'd be like 
oh, Tico, you fool, and push me or something. Uh, okay. I am okay. tired of this now, and I pick up Tico by the scruff <laughs> of his neck, and we proceed inside. Yeah, inside <laughs> is uh, a dingy, dank uh, bar with several tables. Um, can you see inside the bar? Yes. Okay. Because I haven't added your tokens yet. Let me do that. No. Boop. Big. Big. Hell yeah. Big. Big. And then... Yay. I will... The street cannot see the tokens. Yeah, it's uh, delayed. Uh, yeah, it was like a five second. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is... I'm not cool T-S. enough to... TS controlled by um which Patrick E do I click? I click that one. <laughs> Patrick click Edwards, yeah. <laughs> uh, well he actually had two, so I was confused. Yeah, my bad. It's alright, brother. Things happen. Alright. Uh I haven't used Roll Twenty in so long, but like it's fun. I like it. Especially this is the first module I've ever bought. Um, That's cool. Fuck yeah. It. So it's it's been pretty fun playing with it we played uh was it mad mage on roll 20 oh, yeah. we put it on the table oh yeah. that's awesome uh t yeah. are you in roll 20 i should be do you want me to reload it yeah i'm not seeing your name that's weird. maybe you're the second pet edwards not important <laughs> <laughs> Cat the second. it only shows four of us in the game thank you four or five i drew those yeah, oh, yes. Say, uh, like... Thank you to Justin for the uh, tokens. We'll th show the, the full art soon. Um, I, I, can I zoom in here? Um, I think so. They look good as hell! <laughs> <laughs> they look how good that yeah. looks. I love it. Oh, yeah, man. I'm looking forward to um, have the big versions for future promo. But we're like, you know, let's get the tokens in today uh, so that we, we can fight people. Surely nothing bad will happen. Okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll keep describing it. Yeah, so it's basically, you know, um, you, you, the, the bartender, Alan, uh, is tending bar um, uh, while two young men there are, like, the servers, taking uh, uh, drink orders, uh, delivering drinks and food. You know them as Fulton and Ymir. You don't really remember those two people's names. There's their okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've probably seen a few uh, fights break out, and you know that uh, Skuma... Or Skuna and uh, the suit of armor to your left. Um, it, they're not there to protect you. They're there to protect the um, uh, the staff. So uh, ah. you know that clank is an animated suit of armor that <gasps> if uh, a patron gets rowdy and starts shit with one of the servers or patrons or one of the servers or Alan um, will animate and dispense justice. But uh, you know you've seen several fights here before. Uh, the they, they just let the fights happen they, as, so, as long as it doesn't spill out and to start des destroying the El Song Traveler proper um, but there's uh, tons of like patrons in there as you can see most of them are fairly well armed which is you know, pretty normal for uh, uh, Baldur's Gate um, yeah what do you guys want to do? Um, Saren's going to turn towards uh, Pesha and Two Swords and say did you guys know that this place is haunted? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> well, let me tell you the story as we take a seat. <laughs> oh, no, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're here to find someone. I stand up on my substantial tippy toes of my hooves and peer around and see if I can see this, this suspicious contact that we're supposed to be nice to. Um, I don't think I gave you a description, which is not super helpful, um, but... Make one up. Well, she's uh, shifty what, and... Oh, what was I, her name? I can I just yell it. Like. I don't think Zodge, <laughs> I don't think Zodge told you. Uh, <laughs> we should have asked. We should have. <laughs> her name is... Let me go back. Wait, yeah. I, I want to go to the bartender. Yeah, I want to go to the bartender. Yeah, that's, that's a, a great place to go. I'm not going to move... We don't need to worry about moving tokens until I say... All right. Final Fantasy Bro, screen wipe. Should... <laughs> <laughs> I could do with a bear. All right, you make your way up to the tavern, 
and uh, the, like and Alan. Is, I'll just pick him up. And yeah, <laughs> one handed. Just uh, Alan is a, is a is a half elf, um, kind of a graying at his, at his temples, which means he's old as shit. Uh, and he looks you up and down like, oh no, <laughs> Tico, always <laughs> great to see you. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Uh, who'd you bring with you? I brought Seren, the beautiful Seren, precious right. grandmother. Sarah, I was talking and about I also brought our associates, Pesha, and two swords. Uh, hey, y'all. Pleasure to meet you. Um, can I get I'm gonna you anything? Get drink. You can get me a margarita. Okay. We uh, last time we have ale. Is something like a pale ale. We like have pale ale. Do you have an IPA? We ha- no. We have ale, <laughs> and we have uh, some what we refer to as wine. But uh, <laughs> is it like a dark wine? It's red. It's red. It's. <laughs> well, we're here to commit murder. So I do. I do four wines. Well, three wines in a. What? Two swords. What you want? Oh, uh, four ales. Four. <laughs> four <laughs> ales. So three wines and four ales, and you could just add it to Saren's tab. Ah! <laughs> uh, for last time, there there is no tabs. You have to pay <laughs> up front. Um, I, I don't know, know if you uh, would make it even through the, today. <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? Okay, fine. I'll pay. I'll be a little gracious. I'm in a good mood. I got a new job. Oh, finally. I made some associate. <laughs> okay, you don't need to be rude about it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna grab my DM screen just for fun extra stuff. So, Petra, how do you like the place? It is exactly your kind of place. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Asha, you're so sweet to me. There's tons of I did not try. <laughs> this is why you're such a good person. You don't even have to try. I'm just going to put this here. I wish I could be like you. So tall. Um, so <laughs> tall. <laughs> Your horns are so cool. You like too might be able to grow if you grew first in spirit. I'm willing to teach if you're willing to learn. <laughs> All right, yeah, so uh, it's too... Um, I don't know the word. <laughs> two silver pieces uh, per, um, which is a pretty standard uh, uh, situation. The ale is dark and surprisingly cool, which is is unique. Um, how much money do you guys have? Did you? Because uh, everyone's supposed to start with a certain amount of gold. Fifteen I- gold pieces. Perfect. Oh, I must have ended up with way too much because I have like a hundred and something. <laughs> you might have picked gold instead of equipment. Oh, I did. Ah. And then I was supposed to pay for stuff, but I guess it never got deducted. Okay, so probably you, you're probably. It's I'm probably looking at like. 20, you do have a job. Yeah. Twenty gold. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I have two jobs. <laughs> <laughs> two swords and two jobs here. Uh, we can locking tra- it down. <laughs> uh, we can track it later. Um. Okay. The, the uh, little bits of like one gold here and there aren't going to matter much when you're eventually going to have to be like, it's a thousand gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, two swords holds up both his hands and goes, I got this many. <laughs> uh, all right. It, it, don't, it, don't you not have pinkies though? One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. Do, do Dragonborn have all five fingers? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, they got Mickey hands. Yeah. <laughs> like, Put me on the spot here. <laughs> Sarah and I feel like is sitting at a table. She's grabbed a table and she's just gonna yell over to Tico. Tico, you're getting this round, right? Yeah, yeah. You won the last one. <laughs> the last game, so I got to buy the games this time. Oh. You're damn right, I won last time. <laughs> there actually is a game that bar patrons and Baldur's Gate play often. You probably enjoy it. It's called Baldur's Bones. Gambler. Yeah. Uh, um, that- let me tell you the rules of this dice game. Baldur's Bones is a popular dice game in the taverns of Baldur's Gate. Each player require each player requires several six-sided dice. The rules are as follow. Each player puts the agreed ante in the pot. So if it's like a one gold game, you put a gold in the thingy. Uh, each player rolls three dice, then proceeds clockwise around the table, with the host of the game going last. On their turn, a player can choose to stand or roll. If the player stands, the next player can take a turn. A player whose roll takes an additional die rolls uh, who rolls takes an additional die and rolls it. 
If the total of their dice exceeds 21, they bust and are out of the game. Oh. Otherwise, they can keep rolling additional dice until they either stand or break. Uh, after everyone has a, had a turn, the highest point total, excluding players who busted, wins the game. It's dice blackjack. Hell yeah. I'm into it. Do you guys want to play a quick round of dice blackjack? Or do you want to <laughs> try to talk to some people, challenge some other people to dice blackjack? Uh, to try to find aggressively her. staring at a game of blackjack already playing, and he's yeah. Trying. So probably the, the the tavern, uh, the table as soon as you walk in that has like a beefy boy and and some other various people are are rattly playing and and like, oh got you this time oh, oh, oh slaps the belly and, <laughs> uh, as a um, a young tiefling woman and an older half orc man uh, slaps throws in another gold to a, uh, a kind of hairy. Um, beef, beefy human, like ah, I swear you're cheating, young man. If you keep doing this, I'll punch your face. Ah, you calm down, you. That's what you see next to you. Ah. Tico is trying not to play, and he's like biting his fingernails <laughs> and being like, "Oh, I want to play." Give me the drinks. Give me the drinks. I want to. I, All right, so you I, bring, and... I bring a drink specifically only. For my precious grandmother. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much, sweetheart. I pat her tiny head. <laughs> now, did Two Swords get four ales for himself? Yeah. No, I bought three wines and four ales. Yeah, and so there's the four tankards, and he's kind of like looped his hands through two of like the handles of each tankard. Uh -huh. So he's got two tankards in each hand, and he drinks it by like holding them up. So there's one here and one here, and it makes like a waterfall. Okay. So like the bottom one goes into his mouth, and I the other one, <laughs> yeah. I love it. Perfect. All right. So you're sitting down, um, and uh, the people are just sort of shooting the shit until eventually you're Oof. drinking your drinks, and uh, you you hear a ghostly whisper start to, to sing uh, and everyone stops talking and, and stops uh, rolling dice and things like that. Uh, Saren, you hear this song in Elvish. <gasps> oh, sing a song of El Turel, of water, woods, and hill. The sun dawns on her ruddy cliffs and fields green and still. This land of long abiding joy, home of the strong and brave, Renowned by all across the realms, and never once a slave. Oh, sing a song of El Turel when foes are at her door. Her fields torn by cloven feet from some infernal shore. Arise the mighty hell riders, take up your swift keen swords. Then charge into the hellish fray and scatter devil's hordes. Oh, sing a song of El Turel, and when the night does fall... Sleep safe beneath the companion's light until the, dine, the dawn does call. We're bound by mortal covenant that only ends with death. And so we'll sing of El Terrell until our final breath. And you see the tavern noticeably kind of like everyone starts looking at each other like, what the fuck was that? Because like, <laughs> even if they don't speak Elven, they, it's the same song. It's like randomly plays a couple times a day. Same song, same song, same song. This is comp this is not the song you've ever. No one's ever heard this song before. Ooh. Um, the uh, bartender Alan's like, what the hell? Oh my god! Uh, you, you can see him like whispering quietly uh, to the uh, other uh, servers about uh, what the hell just happened here. Um, everyone seems to be a little shaking up, but then after a while they say they like. Like shrug and go back to their rabble rousing. Uh, do you guys want to talk with people? Do you want to continue having a drink? What's what's everyone's life feeling like? Is there are there any bar patrons that uh, that me or Tico would know? Like any regulars? Yes, there are. Um, okay. Let me. I got a little section right here for you. I was doing that. Um, two swords will ask, what are we supposed to be doing again? <laughs> <laughs> We're here to meet with someone. Who? I don't know. I wasn't listening. <laughs> are we fine? Is it Warren? Are we looking for Warren? No, it's Tarina. How many times? Tarina. Kids got to pay attention. Uh, uh, you want you me just like to yell? 
<laughs> you want me to like stand up on a chair and yell for Tarina? I think that would be counterproductive, but thank you. Okay. Uh, Kim, can you roll a d6, please? You betcha. I got a three. Three. One, two, three. Oh, what a... <laughs> okay, so you know that you, you, your friend, uh, Ulrich Wirt, Whitmerth, um, is a, an impoverished playwright, um, and uh, he's pretty annoying, but he's a good storyteller, and uh, it's always good to, to, to chat and, and wax poetic. You don't see him down here, but you think you maybe heard his laugh from the stairs uh, over to your right. Okay, I'm going to go see if I can find him. Okay. Yeah, uh, as you... Um, go upstairs, it's much the same idea, except for this time there's two long tables with several uh, people around them. Uh, you see a halfling uh, laughing in the face of your friend uh, Ulrich uh, as he uh, is also laughing loudly. He's like, <laughs> I, I surprise myself, I say, and he... Uh, tips his, his mug in his mouth and there's nothing in there. He's like, oh, <laughs> oh I seem to be empty, oh, little Lala. <laughs> <laughs> Ulrich, you son of a gun, I see you've run dry. Oh, you mink, Saren, good to see you. How are you on this day? <laughs> well, I can't complain. What are you doing up here? What does it look like? I'm wetting my whistle. It's a depressing time, you know. Any new plays? Well, only a couple dozen, but these fools, they won't take them. Well, they don't know art if it spat in their face, and that's... she's gonna wave... Oh, sorry, go ahead. That's true! <laughs> she's gonna wave down... Are there, like, waiters, Not wait staff or anything? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, eventually, uh, one of the, the wait staff will come um, up there, but as of right now, no. Okay. Crazy about that song earlier. I don't think I've ever heard that one. I know. I wrote most of it down. It, well. <laughs> I think I'm going to steal it as my idea. What was the deal with it talking about El Torel? Do you think the rumors are true? Well, can't say rightly. They won't let us out of this damn town. Isn't that true? It's stupid. I can't get to the play. As you all know, it's outside the city in the old town. In the uh, 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 outer ward area. You all know it. Uh, I, if I could get out, I could simply repeat and sing what that sad elven maid said. Did you... Uh, give me a history roll or something. Yes, I can do that. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see, fifteen plus two is seventeen. Okay, uh, perfect. Uh, you know that there, the Hell Riders. The word Hell Rider was mentioned. You know that there, um, uh, uh, there was a group of people that. Um, uh, Helped the angel Zariel um, many, many, many years ago. I think maybe about 100, 150, I forget. Uh, and they, uh, in order to stop the war between demons and devils, ran into a little place I like to call Avernus uh, in order to fight. But it, they failed. And a certain um, regiment of this army that went came back, and they're called the Hell Riders. Uh, their goal is to stop evil. But they, they have a badass name, but they're also full of shame. Um, people sort of... I mean, it's Baldur's Gate, so you guys don't really talk about that that much. But um, you've probably heard of it from your adventuring days and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you also know that word companion came up. You've probably... Um, I don't know how traveled the rest of you are, um, but based on the backstory I know of... Well, Two Swords, you don't know anything about it. Uh, uh, that's knowing what I know. Um, but you know that the Companion, the town of El Torel is the exact opposite, or the city of El Torel is the exact opposite of Baldur's Gate. It's up the river a couple hundred miles, uh, where Baldur's Gate is a nest of vipers and villainy and things like that. El Torel is, like, idyllic, perfect. Uh, and a lot of people think it's because of this weird orb that's essentially a natural sun. It's like a celestial being that hangs over El Torel and, and sort of sends out good vibes. 
Um, mm. uh, yeah, it's like an artificial sun is what most people think of it as. Um, but it also, anyone undead or unable to enter El Terrell because of that very oh. reason. Um, and you probably also know that there used to be like a vampire that uh, fucked with uh, the town of El Terrell and uh, uh, this helped get rid of it. Because you rolled so well. You got all the extra information. So, yeah, Hell you, yeah. You know all those Ooh. things. Let me make sure there's nothing else that is there. Yep. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. And she... remember that uh, Captain Zaj mentioned El Terrell and the Hellriders. Gotcha. She's going to uh, turn to Olerick and be like, this is the second time today <laughs> I've heard about the Hellriders. I don't like it. Oh, well, they're not so bad, those sad sorts. They have a poetic uh, joy to them, a depressing um, soliloquy. Well, I suppose you're right. Oh, I came up here to ask you a question. Uh, do you happen to know anyone named Tarina that's here? What the fuck do you want to know for? <laughs> the, the, a lady at the other table right next to you <laughs> overhears you, stands up. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Hey, calm down, calm down. I've just got a couple of questions. I'm not here to hurt you. Uh, she's surrounded by uh, a crew of narrow do wells. Just think stereotypical pirate dumbasses. Uh, <laughs> she is a. Uh, uh, let me see if they have anything deeper. Uh, whenever I play modules, instead of just being like, oh, I could just think this up, I was like, I have to read the words. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> I don't. I don't reading, lie. reading was your first mistake. It's very true. Um, Only yeah. nerd to read, Tim. What? Stop attacking me. Um, <laughs> again, this doesn't matter, but it's just it's just the way my brain works. Oh, uh, yeah, she is a um, uh, probably five and a half foot tall human uh, with dark skin, with um, slicked back hair, and just, you know, let's kind of go tropey with it. She looks like a pirate, you know? Hell let's yeah. Not, uh, let's not mix words okay. here. Uh, who the fuck are you and what do you want <laughs> to know? We can all be friends. Calm down. I just have a couple of questions and I'll be on my way. Uh, do the rest of you come up or is it just Serena down here, up here? Uh, I mean, I, I feel tend like... to follow Serena like a very helpful, looming, terrifying shadow. Yeah. So. yeah, I mean, at this point, I'd be like, no, I was digging her so long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Follow Pesha as I'm staring at her horns. And I would oh. just follow if the other people like, just like oh that's what we're doing now? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, everyone's following everyone else. That's the way to do it yeah. sometimes. Everyone just follow. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. You're like my little ducklings. <laughs> <laughs> so there's uh, several that... other uh, patrons in this area. Um, and uh, there's like a uh, uh, you can see all the doors around you. There's tables. There's the stairs go down. Uh, you know that some of these places are extremely off limits and uh their uh rooms for to sleep or maybe rent out for long periods of times and things like of that nature or uh, shorter periods of time <laughs> hey. That's hey. What's up, bro. We, we do by the hour rental. yes it is sort of a, a a place like this um uh, she looks up you up and down is like what do you want to know well do you happen to know anything about the dead three activities that's happening? Uh, she kind of crosses her arms a little bit, like, why the fuck would I know anything about that? Well, that asshole, you know, the eye patch guy, told us to come here and ask you a couple questions about it. I don't like it any more than you do, I assure you. Uh, she she calms down a little bit, like, what eye patch asshole? Oh, I forgot his name. Zorch. Zlotch. <laughs> yes, yes, that fellow. Uh, do any of you have your uh, uh, badges visible? or? Saren, absolutely uh, not. No. <laughs> no. I, I can root around in my pack and pull it out. Even I'm not. It's got a bite mark I'll very in it. quickly do like, we're the cops. <laughs> <laughs> just, he goes... <laughs> I'll, I'll pull mine out and put it on the table. It does have, there's a couple of uh, teeth indents, okay. fang indents from it. I did <laughs> bite it. Two swords, two swords. We told you Just to make sure it. it's legit. Two swords, no. Yeah. Well, Back two swords. Okay, all right. You're cool, you're cool. Uh, Skald War cool. and Wall. You are cool. Get the I'm fuck so out cool. of here. Let me talk with my friends. Okay, sorry. And hey, don't use the F word. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Uh, yeah, oops. Oops, I made uh, Siren uh, three squares wide. Uh, she goes, yeah, I'm huge! <laughs> <laughs> Sit with me a little bit. I, I have a little uh, t- tale to tell. Well, yeah, I might know a little something about the dead three. I've, I've, I've done what Captain jo- Zaj asked me to do. Here's the problem. I... I want to help. I do, and I will help. I will help all of you. Um, so I like to hear. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's just say a couple years ago, I I maybe absconded with my previous crew's booty, uh, and it's I. I yeah. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy knows. Um, and maybe I, you know. Um, hid from them for a couple of whiles, and maybe uh, I've been let. Um, a little friend of mine uh, told me that well, they're here in Baldur's Gate, uh, and they're looking for me. They told me this morning that they're <laughs> they're trying to find me, so it's only a matter of time. So, um, <laughs> okay, but that's really nice, and I'm very happy that your friends are looking for you. But we're here on business. No, no, they're gonna kill me. I'm gonna kill you if you don't give us the answers. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Two swords. I don't know why she's laughing. Uh, I've heard a nervous laughter. If are you doing nervous laughter, uh, lady? Yeah, I think nervous is probably right. If how about this? You help me. There. If they come here, um, within the next four hours, you help me. We'll just drink, have some fun, play some games. Not a big deal. Are you're getting buying? paid by the Flaming Fist to drink a couple beers and listen to what I say. Uh, then if uh, your if if, the, if my former um, crewmates happen to come by, you you'll help me if the uh, fisticuffs get thrown. Are they bad guys? They're very bad. They're horrible. Oh yeah. Pesha knocks her guy? axe against her. Uh, metal tipped horns to make a very ominous ringing sound and says, I like this plan. <laughs> Perfect. Well, Pesh, is so, Pesh yeah. is so cool. Pesh is, yes. Pesh will <laughs> squish you, little man. Yes. <laughs> oh, Pesh just sits back. That, well, uh, that's so great to hear because uh, Deadeye is is real son of a bee. So uh, I could maybe take him on a good day, but I've been drinking, and you know how it is. The the water here is not that great, but you just enjoy yourselves. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll call for another round, uh, and yeah, feel free to just just be ready, because uh, that little weird uh, suit of armor is not going to help, and that half-olger is not going to do anything either, so yeah. Uh, do you guys want to talk to anyone else in the bar? Or just want to sit quietly and drink, or we'll eat th- the the world's your oyster? You can chat with some of the bar patrons to get some information. You can see what else is up. You know, no big whoop. Hell yeah, Saren's probably a friendly little grandma, so she might putter around, mm-hmm. see who's having a fun time. <laughs> uh, can you give me just a basic charisma roll? Absolutely. 18 plus 3, so damn. Damn. <laughs> nice. uh, Yeah, so as you guys are waiting, um, the the classic D&D thing of uh, the, the NPCs around you eventually is like, well, you know what I heard? Because, you know, it, it's it's a fantasy uh, town. Everyone's kind of bored, and the only news you get is from, like, shooting the shit with people. And uh, uh, a drunken uh, dude, like, bumps into you, and he just says... <laughs> Between me and you, with that raven guard out of the way, <laughs> who uh, who be the Grand Duke? My money is uh, um, Thalmara Van Themper. Am I right? Uh, that Van Thempers, you don't want to cross them. Oh, yes, the Van Thempers. And she has, like, sort of a bitter look on her face. <laughs> <laughs> she was practically born! And then she's in the guy's, like, like ac- accident, like, spinning on you from... <laughs> she was practically born in the sewer she was. More vicious than a swarm of damn rats. Um, two swords. A, uh, a halfling walks up to you and is like, Oh, you're big. Are you in the flaming fist? Uh, I think so. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I heard 
You guys are fucked. <laughs> oh. That's not good. Yeah, no one knows who should be in charge of the Flaming Fist right now. And you guys are all running around fighting each other. <laughs> I'm not fighting anybody. I wish. Huh. Well, you just keep uh, all those people trying to run away from Eltigard from getting in. We don't know what they... What happened there? The, the whole city just was destroyed. It's not safe. It's gone. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna stare at him, Blakely. He's like, <laughs> so, okay, cool beans. And uh, is Tico by me? Did he Tico hear that? Is sitting next to you. He can hear it, but he's just eyeing yeah. the uh, the Boulder's dice game that's going on. <laughs> just like. He's counting his money really quick. Just being like, I could do it, you know. <laughs> he said he's cheating, so it wouldn't be unfair if I cheated. <laughs> uh, as uh, you're, you're kind of... Um, scheming. Scheming. Um, a couple moments go by, uh, and uh, you hear, even from upstairs, you hear the uh, uh, door downstairs slam open, uh, and you, if you, like, some people run to the window, and you can kind of see through like the, on the street level that uh six motley humans saunter into the tavern uh the guy hey, look at these douchebags <laughs> the guy <laughs> at the front is a brawny man with a cloudy right eye um a cruel sneer and a pirate swagger i don't know what that means but i like it i guess like <laughs> i'm on walking what's up on with the all the pirates <laughs> what's up with the, i want to look at pesha and be like what's up with all the pirates is it like a theme today is it like <laughs> pirate tuesday I am more concerned that all of them seem to have lost only one eye. Do you think this yeah, is a cult matter a, or I a disease? I, I don't have an ear, so like I think just losing something is a common occurrence. Pasha strokes both of her horns nervously. <laughs> uh, the others are an unsavory rowdy bunch who act as if they own the place. We're looking for an old friend of ours. Oh shit, we know. Wait, no. Uh, this is all downstairs, <laughs> but you can kind of oh. hear it reverberating up through the floorboards. Should we tell them about her friend? She goes by the name of Tarina, and so I'm told she loves to cheat at Boulder's Bones. If any of you sorry sorts help us with information, we'll buy you around. Uh, and you, and uh, as you're like peering around the corner from upstairs, like <laughs> everyone's like, yeah, she's up, she's up there. <laughs> like, Guys, we can get a free drink. <laughs> <laughs> It seems this will come to blows. You might as well get your free drink now, Tico. And yeah. she shoves him oh, yeah. too hard. I get stumbled over and I go over to the railing. Hey, Vato! Uh, Sorry, my cat jumped on my lap at the exact same time I said that. You scared the shit out of me. Uh, what is a little goblin friend? Hey, I got a name. Uh, you looking for a friend? Yeah. Goes by I'm going to drink first and then I tell you. <laughs> That's not how this works. It does today, homie. All right, fine. Uh, Are you sure to get us free drinks, and then we're going to fight him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to kill this dude. <laughs> Barky, bring a... Uh, uh, I want four. Five four drinks upstairs for our friends here. Uh, okay, no. what are you going to drink, though? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a rum from the special select. Like well, You said we didn't have liquors here. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> some for me. We, we actually don't actually have rum, but I'll see if I can find something. Oh, sorry, you bit my neck. No, oh, yeah. you did he? Um, so I said, he walks up and hands all of you um, uh, the, the bruise, and then he, uh, Tarina uh, faces off with him. He's like, you son of a bitch, you finally found me. And uh, the guy... Hit, oh, I found your friend. <laughs> As he walks up, I just go, hey, Tarina, I found your friend. <coughs> oh, uh, Leckard, good to see you again. It's been so long. How, how you, how's the captain? I killed him. Like, oh, good, 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 good. I'm gonna walk. Can I take my drink? I just want to walk behind him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just like stare as I'm drinking. Uh, <laughs> as you, let me move over. Ow. How am I clicky? Lemon pepper, yes. Um, oh. Math and background? Can I do it? Oh, God. I need to grab tokens that... Oh, do you have Yeah. Hi, guys. Boom. This is Jack. 
little butt. Everyone say hi to Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Look at his he little socks. Every- he does this every day at 3 o'clock. Oh. I love him. Uh, okay, so... Uh, ha- Risa. Bear with me as I'm figuring out how to do... Roll 20. I'm trying to show you peoples. These people. Uh, I think I changed... Layer? Mm. Layer. Oh, did it. Alright, so <gasps> these are... Uh, 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 Leckard Deadeye. Uh, let me read you his whole name. It's hilarious. <laughs> uh, Leckard Deadeye Cadaverous. Uh, Cadaverous. Isn't that, isn't oh, that wow? Right, right. Well, a bit much, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. A little bit on the nose, brother. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. No Leckard Deadeye Cadaverous. Uh, and... Tickle Grayface thinks that's a little on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, where do you guys want to be? Uh, T.I. still Two swords. Find you in the. Uh, can you just send me the link real quick? Yeah. Because I'm showing up. I definitely want to just be like behind this dude. Sorry, I made me cut you off. Yeah. Two swords will down that beer he brought up in one gulp, and then set, and then just very gently set the mug down, and just kind of have his hands hanging, <laughs> loose, Love ready. Kind of like maybe a little twiddle in the fingers. Like a gunslinger, ready to draw. Ooh. Get ready to. There might be some violence coming. Who knows? Mm-hmm. He's very oblivious to societal norms, but he's very perceptive when shit's oh, about yeah. to pop off. There is an a. You can feel it in the air. There's it's mm-hmm. it's quite shitty. Um, <laughs> I want to probably be uh, chatting with this fella at the table, so I'm gonna move myself there. All right. Yeah, I resent you, but you can just tell me where you want to be moved to. Uh, I want to be between Saren and Danger. Okay. Um, uh, Tico, you. you can't go in there. <laughs> <laughs> the door's locked. Oh, <laughs> Tico, he just silently leaves the room. <laughs> yeah, as you go to like walk through that door, it's it's extremely locked, and you hear "Go away." <laughs> <laughs> Um, let me be here. Yes. There you are. There we go. I'm definitely behind the dude. There you go. <gasps> boom. Bing, boom. Oh, God. The chat's so weird. Oh, it's because... Okay, that explains. All right. Cool I want to be within s- stabbing. So, yeah, also. everyone Wait, is... Uh, I have uh, a quick question. Oh, please, go ahead. Uh, are all the people with the beards the bad guys? Uh, oh, yeah, like except for one, right actually. Here. Let me uh, uh, put some sort of thing on. Because one is Tarina, hilariously enough. <laughs> um, this uh, this uh, pink dot is is uh, your friend, your friendly beard. Because it's just like the same class. She doesn't, she doesn't have special artwork. Poor <clears throat> Tarina. Gotcha. There's five baddies. Uh, five She's baddies. a friendly beard. Much yeah, like it's uh, th- this guy is Dead Eye. Um, he's a big boy. You can't see their HP, right? Can you? No. No. Uh, I can. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> You're good at. Computing. I had a drink. Uh, yeah, and the three uh, uh, and the other ones sort of like spread out through the tavern a little bit or this this floor just to make sure no one tried. And one's standing in front of the the door. So it's a total of five uh, you... goons. Okay. And um, can you, you label shithead? Real quick, I didn't see it. It didn't pop up on mine. Which one? Can you label shithead? Shithead. It's the one who like the man who will be stabbed. He bandana boy. Yes, oh, bandana. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let me, let me okay. It. Bandana boy. Boop. I see him now. Yeah, he doesn't have special artwork either. Poor guy. That's fine. I <laughs> yeah. want to be with him. So, um, the the, the <laughs> uh, they're kind of arguing a little bit. Um, uh, sorry, Tia. I keep touching your that, that's fine um, uh i'll put me i like here yeah um yes yeah, so basically as, as uh, tarina goes listen i don't have your money uh uh, uh one eye rips his sword out and is like good <laughs> i don't this is better it's better this way uh do you guys want to help your new friend tarina or what do you guys want to do i will uh, Go ahead. No, you go first. Oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> I 
feel like uh, Tico and Saren have gotten into many bar fights together. Okay. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She, she's gonna yell out, "Tico, give him the number four, which we know is like a certain kind of like attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pat him. I'm gonna pat him real quick. Yes. Just gonna just pat him. Yeah, give me to get uh, his attention. Okay. Yeah. Give me a like. Give me a sleight of hand check or something. Slide, no, I'm, I'm like trying to get his attention. Oh, literally touching him. All right. Yeah. I'm okay. literally going. Hey, hey, hey. What the fuck do you want? It went I. No, can you hold this for me? And I'm gonna hand him my drink. <laughs> he smashes it out of your hand. <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna like while he's smacking it out of my hand. Well, I was gonna hand him with one hand, and with the other, I'm gonna take my rebar and sh- stab him. Okay. Yes. And, and that, and, try, give me a, a sleight of hand for that. See if you can. Uh, Slide of hand? No, never. And we're off. Shit, fuck. <laughs> natural one. Perfect. Uh, you go and and I rolled my dice twice today. Natural twenty. Natural one. I'm all over the place. That's I'm gambling today. Right. I'm gambling. Uh, so yeah, your your rebar instead of stabbing into him goes uh, and stabs into the. Uh, stair railing and get stuck for a second and he punches you in the face. You take oh, um, three points of damage and uh, let's roll initiative. Does he not have to hit my AC, sir? Oh, sorry. I guess I should have done that. Oops. Well, oh, I also just I rolled a natural one, him but it was only for initiative. Oh, no. Justin, I just rolled a natural 20, so I'm not going to double his attack, but I'm gonna, it was more of a, a narrative three points of damage. Not like, okay. Yeah. Uh, so... Oh, not 30. Nope, definitely not Even 30 though points. though we're using roll 20, I'm still going to use pen and paper um, to track initiative. And they're all using, like, D&D Beyond and real dice and things like that. So uh, Real human dice. Meat space dice. <laughs> um, all right. What did uh, you get, Kim? 12. 12. Perfect. Uh, Tia? 2. 2. Oof. Oh. What are you doing? Uh, Tico. Jesus, 16. Perfect. And two swords. 17. Perfect. Doop, boop, boop, boop. Pesha is a minotaur, by the way. Oh, God. I did. I rolled a 20 and a 1. <laughs> oh, shit. The curse has been passed on. Thank God. <laughs> it's going to circle around to all of us. Christina got the 1. Now, you gotta, now mm-hmm. you're going to get a 20 next time. I better. <laughs> <laughs> It's required by fate. <laughs> yes, um, yes, is, that's the rules. Oh, hi, Jackson. Sorry, I had to jump up. My cat barfed on the oh, couch no. because Bunny. she's terrible. It's fine. I'm waiting for Jack to throw up. Oh, hi, Jack. Nice. Don't do it. <laughs> you just like, Bop, heard my name. Hey, Dad, what's up? <laughs> Hello, Papa. I'm just here barfing. Don't worry about <laughs> At least I the other one's not peeing on anything. What's up, brother? Go know your brother. <laughs> I'm trying to use two what different um, things, and it's confusing me. Shit. Sorry. So good. Hey, this is a clean server. Can you <laughs> fucking curse him? Sorry, bro. All right, I'm going to be right back. Bye, Kim. God, narrator. Not but she gone. was not right back. Oh no! Are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> you can hear her yelling at Ben. Yeah, that's hilarious. Uh, okay, um, first up is oopsie doops is um, uh, this dead eye character. He uh, he looks at you, uh, Tico, and he uh, he attack. Um, let me. You could certainly try. <laughs> let me bring him up. Not a little buddy. It's true. He is very small. All right. So all for a goblin. Little shiv. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the first attack. That's right. First. Um, does a uh, nine hit your AC? No. Does a ooh nineteen hit your AC? Yes. Does a ten hit your AC? Fuck no. Okay, so he smacks you, uh, the the narrative smack, uh, and then he comes in with his uh, big sword, and he 
thrunks it down at you. You're able to get your rebar up and kind of stop it a little bit, but it does start to cut into your uh, shoulder a little bit. Uh, you take a total of... Um, you take uh, six points of damage. Oh, Tico fucked. <laughs> um, and uh, let me see if he has anything extra. I'm gonna stab this fucker through the brain. Yeah, he won't. <laughs> he won't get hurt. Yeah, he has like a cool um, sword. Uh, it's shimitar. And know. that that sword just went a cutlass deep into my body. Yeah. It's only a little bit of your body, but you don't. Ha- you're not very. Oh tall. no, yeah. no! But it's like deep into there, Tico is taller. barely standing. What did I do? Oh shit! I pressed backwards. Um, all right, next up, uh, and he goes. You made a powerful friend today, fool. Um, it, two swords. You see the situation in front of you. Your 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 tiny pal just got cut a little bit. Uh, the mm-hmm. other um, members of the bar, as my roll twenty is starting to load, I, I clicked back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next week I'll have a better um, understanding of roll twenty, but not that it's a big deal. Uh, the other uh, patrons are like ah, <laughs> and they all kind of run to the back um, of, of the of the room and be like, and your 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 friend Saren is like. Be careful! Don't die! Uh, uh, and um, I will say that something that is maybe not necessarily uh, inherently uh, known to all of you is you can try to get some of these extra people that ran to the back of the room. Uh, some of them are like, fight, 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 stab in the face! Uh, others are just like, uh, cowering behind chairs and things like that. Um, you, I will say you are able to use your action to try to encourage uh, these people to help you. Uh, just wanted to throw that out there. Two swords. What are you doing? You got the the peoples all around you. Yep. I mean, I'm attacking Want Deadeye. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Is he? I don't want to overanalyze your map, the the setting, but is he up against a like a, a low railing over he a is, stairs? Uh, <gasps> up against a low railing with some stairs. Uh, fuck it, I'm gonna have fun with this. I'm yes. gonna. I want to. This is Sparta him over the railing. Okay. See if I can give us a little breathing yeah. room. All right, that is a strength. Unarmed. Or yeah. It's like a I get plus one to my strength. Okay, yeah, it's like a strength challenge. Um... Strength challenge, not an unarmed strike. I don't it's believe so. Yeah, because you can. I know you can. You can. Att- or is it? It's fuck. I looked it kick. up that long ago. It's like a bull. It's like it was bull rush and four e. But I know sometimes you can trade down your action. Chat if you know what I'm talking about. Um, You're the DM. This is you make up the rules. <laughs> uh, I don't know it in five e. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, no, I. I mean. It should be two contested strength rolls for a grapple. But I mean, if it's doing like a no, I was trying to literally like front kick him, like like this is Sparta, like in the chest over the railing. Yes. Let me, because I know that this is a, it is a a, a opposed strength roll. So let's just do that. Uh, Okay, roll your strength. I got it. What did you get? Eighteen. Eighteen. Perfect. Yeah, you lock arms with this dude. He got a thirteen. Uh, you push him back. He's huge, <laughs> but you're you're huger. Uh, you push him back. Uh, I assume you move up to that E7 spot. You, you can technically push him from sure. where you are, but it actually doesn't matter now that I'm rethinking about it. Uh, you push him, and you hear a crack, 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 and he goes a kaplunk down the <laughs> the thing, and he falls on his ass and rolls down <laughs> the thing, and he takes. Go ahead and roll. Um. Oh, let's go D8. Let's give you a D8 for that one. For fun. Alright. Though... <laughs> ah, two. Two. Alright, he takes two points of damage. Uh, and... Um... Cool. Uh, I was just hoping it would take him a turn to get back up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a great move. Uh, he's like, you fucking asses! <laughs> <laughs> and, and Have other... enough trip. <laughs> See you next fall. <laughs> Uh, and as he kind of goes thumping down the stairs uh the other bandits look at you and like you push boss over the railing uh next up is my friend and yours tico edging gather and he's just blood it's so much blood he is not doing hot (laughs) he spits out a wad like a giant loogie of just blood um again cannot preference how bad you're looking edging gather 
I'm about to push you to hell if you and your friends don't back off. And uh, I'll, I'll attempt. Uh, no, I'm going to make this a lie because I think my, my, hold on, give me one second. I was going to stab a dude and then he got shoved down a wall. <laughs> or shoved down some stairs. That happens. Yeah, yeah, so there's still four bandits up here. Um, oh, okay. T um, okay. I'll do it next time. Kitchen Gado, I'm going to stand you to hell with me and my 20 friends outside if you don't back off. Who are you, who are you doing this to? The guy that just talked. That was just like, you pushed our boss down some stairs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Trying to lie. In my narrative, it's this guy. Uh, yes, that's also I pictured. Um, oh, I rolled good. I doubt he's smart. Oh, he didn't have any negatives. Can, I, dis but, can I decept this guy? Yeah, go ahead and roll a deception. Nope, rolled an 8. <laughs> okay, yeah, he, he got like a 16. He's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, and and, uh, and I believe that's actually all my. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna take my chance, and I'm gonna. Is this guy? Or I'm gonna ping this dude. Is this a good guy or a bad guy? Bad guy. Yeah. That's all the all guy? the dwarf looking beard peoples. Uh, oh, so being, yeah. If you oh, move away from guy. him, you will take. Do you have, like don't, don't don't goblins have that disengage? Action? Oh, I can. Yeah, I can pass through this dude. Yeah. I'm like not, I'm like fairly sure I can pass through this dude. Seek of that fear of the small, dark vision, nimble escape. I can disengage. I'm going to go ahead and disengage. I'm going to just run my little butt over to my friends. <laughs> Yay! Do you, still, do you want to move farther? Because that's only five feet or ten feet. And yeah, still... but, now I, but now I'm surrounded by my beautiful friends. So true. Well, my associates. Let's not say the F word. <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, next up, I'm gonna run, slide underneath two swords. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah! and hold up my rebar. I love it. That's, that's such a good uh, image. Uh, next up is uh, Tarina. She goes, "Thanks, new friends. Let's uh, we'll drink uh, to our victory, or we'll drink in hell." And then she runs <laughs> yeah! over uh, the one that you screamed at, and uh, he turns away from. Uh, uh, oh, natural twenty. Nice job, Tarina. Uh, and uh, she does. Um, Eight damages, and I do like the roll twenty for tracking HP. That's very helpful to me. Ah, uh, hell yeah! Yeah. Um, all right. He, as she stabs him full on his belly, he's like, "Oh no! Ow! No! Bad day! Ouch! <laughs> Ouch!" But uh, he's still up. Uh, my tender yeah. belly. <laughs> my, oh, no, that's where my burritos go. Uh, <laughs> Not the burrito zone. Uh, <laughs> Saren, you were you were up. Okay, uh, I feel like once Tico comes over near her, he like kind of tags her in. <laughs> <laughs> because they they are little barflies who get along, and so Number she's two. just gonna yes, <laughs> she's just gonna move sort of over a little bit, and then she is going to cast. Eldritch blast at this motherfucker. Hell yeah, right warlock here. motherfucker. <laughs> just Whenever gonna, like, warlock <laughs> casts Eldritch blasts, I get, I get, I get happy. That's just how I go. I do. It's good as shit. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't know if I told you this, but she has like a little cane, and uh -huh. I wrote it down as both her like focus and a quarter staff okay, to use. Perfect. So it's just like she's just gonna wave her cane okay. at this person. <laughs> it's gonna zap them. Is the cane called the whippersnapper? Yes, it is now! <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, so you need me to roll to attack, or am I... Yes. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't remember how Eldritch Blast works. I haven't played the Warlock in quite okay. some time. Or ever. So yeah, so roll to hit. Okay. It says, a beam of crackling energy streaks towards a creature within range. Make a ranged spell attack against the target. Yep. All so right. you should have a bonus or something to that. Yes. All right, I got a nine plus five is 14. Perfect. Their AC, I'll tell you, is 12. Sick. Uh, so yeah, you hit. As uh, What does your Elder's Blast look like? It, um, I feel like it's just like a, a, a lightning blast or okay. something like that. Just like a beam as, of yeah, grandma as, rage. As you sort of do it, you hear, slay them, my love. 
<laughs> she kind of looks taken aback for a second and then becomes more determined. Yeah, right. in, in a voice you would recognize. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I'm going to roll 1d10. I got an 8. Hell yeah. Uh, the lightning bolt cracks into his, uh, his, his like, gross of uh, scale or, like, chainmail armor all rusted and, and lights up and his beard crackles a little bit and he, he goes to his knee, but then he, he's able to get back up. It's like, you, they got a witch! They got a witch! <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> You're uh, goddamn right I am! <laughs> uh, Pesha, you are up. All right, uh, Tico, how bad does bad look? Oh, sorry, Tico was being in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> on a yeah, scale yeah. of three uh, to uh, twelve, uh, or one yes. to twelve, three. <laughs> <laughs> what an Blood. oddly specific and useful scale. I'm That's very like... self-aware. <laughs> Tico spends a lot of time thinking about himself. Like, today, I feel like I have twelve <laughs> HP. I like it. <laughs> you know, sometimes you wake up feeling like an eight. <laughs> Yes. All right, so I am just going to bite the, well, not the bullet, but the rebar here and heal you. And uh, please take, oops, not on spells, uh, 1d8 plus 2. Hell yeah. Since you, you will, you're the cleric. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, also, I'm assuming that you slid under two swords legs and yeah. popped up right under the hand that I was already extending to bless you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> like a tiny... It's gonna be a thing. He's just gonna get hurt and run back. <laughs> <laughs> and with a look of already long healing. suffering. <sighs> I need Ooh. healing. Take back ten points. Nice. Ooh, Ooh. Fuck yeah! Uh, Alright, so healing... that wasn't a natural twenty, but it was a natural eight. Oh, so okay. I think we're good. What uh, does your healing look like? Because do clerics pick what type of cleric they are at first, or is that later? I mean, I I did pick, oh. but um, it it looks like you your face kind of relaxes, and your your whole body just becomes less of a scrounging, <laughs> angry, cranky little <laughs> shit for a little <laughs> while, and then you go back to normal. But like <laughs> briefly. <sighs> Briefly, you are enlightened. I love it. Perfect. Uh, is there anything else you can do? Any bonus actions? Anything like that? Or, uh, well, I can turn to the crowds and be like, "Hey, uh, in the name of all that is good, you." Oh, wrong crowd. Sorry. <laughs> and I just turn back. <laughs> I want to. I want to look up at Pesha once he like the relaxing like starts to wear off and he goes. No one's ever healed me before. Oh. oh. Undoubtedly, you did not oh, deserve buddy. it. And yet, here we are. <laughs> and I just turned back to the fight. Okay. Uh, after you, you heal Tico, the, uh, one of the bandits uh, was like, May the sea eat your spleen. <laughs> uh, Shut up, nerd. <laughs> as they say. That's a weird thing to say, bro. Tarita. Uh, and she takes that much da five damage from him and the other one goes and what is their modifier oh they both hit uh and she uh i'm gonna roll it see what happens oofta uh okay yeah tarina looks bad <laughs> Tarina looks bad she just gets like she runs into these two um uh bandits uh pirate people uh her former crewmates and she's sword fighting them, but then one of them just grabs her arm, stabs her in the stomach, is like, that's for stabbing me in the stomach! Like, ow! And the other one, uh, uh, cut, cut, like, tries to cut her head off, but she's able to dodge out of the way, but it, like, slashes against her throat and, or, excuse me, her forehead, and her, like, some of her hair just, like, falls down, like, ah! ah! Help! Help! Um, <laughs> oof. Uh, I see why you wanted to hire us now. <laughs> uh, two swords. The one next to you. You're completely like, useless. I haven't killed a dragonborn yet. Can't wait for you to be the first, Bucko. Um, he rolled an eighteen. Uh, does a 20, 21 hits your AC? I can only assume. Yes. Uh, you Pretty. take four points of damage as his sword Ow. comes in and is able to get past your armor a little bit, and but not do any serious serious damage. Um, and then the next, is this one, two, the other one, uh, runs down the stairs, uses his action to pick his boss up, 
And um, that now we're at the top of the round. And the top of the round, um, your friend, Saren, this uh, Ulrich Werfman, <laughs> uh, stands up on the table and is like, The bards will sing a ballad of this day! And he grabs a bottle and hucks it at, yes! this, one, that, at this bandit. Um, good roll, Ulrich. Good roll. Uh, and he does a total... Oh my god, I rolled a, a 19 to hit. And a three for damage when he had exactly three damage. So this Fuck bandit yeah. is like, pulls his sword out of Trina's belly. He's like, I can't wait to keel haul you and swab the deck and poop in the crow's nest and, and such. Uh, I've seen black sails, so I, I, I you know, as you can tell. I mean, uh, but and then a bottle just crashes into his head and he just kind of goes. And falls over. And he's gone. Yes! Um, the rest of these people kind of look around, uh, not quite swayed by <laughs> the dismissive tone. But then, um, the Deadeye fellow comes up. What is his movement? 30 feet. That's what I thought. Um, and having his buddy help him, like, get the fuck out of my way, dumbass. And he actually pushes him down. Uh, oh! and, and he does fall, which is not nice. Where's the fall... Token. Why are pirates nicer to each other? That's the thing. <laughs> Sometimes you... I'm going to put the arrow in the back because he symbolizes... Guys, we should try being oh. supportive with these guys. I think it might help. Uh, th then he comes nice up and he goes, You're dead. B word. Uh, and uh, <laughs> he cuts her head off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tarina, <laughs> Tarina is like, I won't go down without a fight. And he just goes, Shack! <laughs> And, and her head just falls down the ground. Holy shit! Oh, shit. And she just, oh, and that no. Wait, so we didn't get what we needed from her, did we? <laughs> no, no she we did not. not. In just a classic way. Uh, Fuck. Spurred it and then falls to her knees and falls uh, over uh, uh, down. Because he used, he hit with his first attack and he has three. So if I didn't oh, kill shit. her, he would just go step, step, step. Normally well, she would have gotten death shit. in the throws. So I'm going to... Leave her body up, though, but add the, yeah, the oh shit the thing uh, as she kind of falls I get over the, this way. I got the strong impression we might not be good at our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> well, t she shouldn't have run in. That's what she had us for. Like, this is true. Yeah. You know what? She pulled the head away from the tank. She, she pulled was trying the head. To eh? yeah. yeah. She this pulled is... like she had all the aggro from the beginning. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> I was kidding. Uh, but uh, two swords, you are now up. Uh, as uh, Dead Eye turns to all of you and says, <laughs> well, "I'm still, f I'm still hungry for a fight. That was too easy. I'm killing the rest of you, and fuck, maybe the rest of you cowards in this room, too. I don't even know." And he, uh, he's gonna fuck the rest of the cowards <laughs> in the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. How? I mean, unless they want to, but. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to kill you with my sword here. Oh. Um, well, I'm going to attack the gentleman right next to me. Okay. Who got hit with the Eldritch Blast. Uh, I'm going to hit him with... And since I, I'm going to use my swords, okay. I'll start with one of them and if to see how that goes. Okay. If he, if he needs another one. Okay. And I'll be... I should have looked at any 13. of your character I... sheets to see if... Oh. Uh, 18, I assume that hits. That hits? Should I roll damage before I hit with the other one? Yes, you should. <laughs> okay. He is very, uh, very bad looking. Okay. <laughs> and that is one. Here we go. Sorry. Where is that? There it is. Seven. Seven. That's uh, what does it look like when you murder him? Uh, I want to cut him diagonally in half okay. from like his upper right collarbone okay. down to his lower left hip yeah yeah your swords cut through his shitty chain mail like the rust <laughs> popping everywhere and he just, yeah just blood falls over and you can see it like seeping through the floorboards there's like some rugs around here and you realize that like oh actually this rug used to be like a blue but it's already it's already it's purple now it's mostly purple it's mostly <laughs> red and brown and then you finally in a perfect way covered up the last little bit of blue uh, on the the throw rug. Um, nice. So, well, I still I got it because because of the do, the two weapon yeah. fighting style. Okay. I'm gonna spin around since mm -hmm. he dead, and run up to uh, 
what's his face? Did I? And say, I thought I told you to go downstairs, and I'm gonna hit him with my other <laughs> sword. Yes. Uh, shit. Uh, nine. I assume that's not it gonna. Doesn't. He catches your sword mm. hilariously. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> you killed my friend. He was an idiot, but still my friend. It, you killed that person I just met like five minutes ago. <laughs> she was rude. <laughs> um, You're rude. Else? On your end? No. <laughs> cool. Uh, then that is Tico. You're up. I would love to run over between. Well, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to come up this side. Mm -hmm. And while they're like doing their little like talking thing, pop up to him and go, eh. <laughs> just shake my head and be like I thought we had something going and I'm gonna oh uh, hello drink. this is between you and me and I'm gonna stab him okay um does 19 hit 19 does hit his AC is 15 Ooh. cause he's a little beefy boy how oh wait no that, it'd be 22 my bad um I did my math wrong uh ba -ba -ba -ba. 13 damage. Do I get sneak attack because he is fighting the boy? Yes, you would get sneak attack. Uh, 15 points of damage. Total? Spicy. 15 total or? 15 total, yes. Okay. Nice. Oops, I did the wrong thing. Shit. Uh, now the, the stream is seeing me do math in real time. <laughs> dun dun dun! And then I'm gonna spit Everyone in his face. I'm gonna spit in his face and disengage. Perfect. Nobody, nobody look here. at Tim when he's doing numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did that math right. Yep. Okay. Uh, next, he's like, "You fucking shit! Kill that one!" Uh, and then next, I'm already got I'm over here. <laughs> Siren, you're up. <laughs> Me? Yeah, and he does not look bad. Um, he he's kind of he like kind of. I don't know what, what I'm trying to say. He like pats the the bloody hole and it doesn't bleed for some reason. I don't know why. Ooh, it's not a, it's not, it's, it's, it's not a magic thing. Must stab this dude a few more times. It's a narrative thing. Hell yeah. Uh first of all, Saren's gonna turn to Ulrich and be like, next round's on me. Thank you. <laughs> and then she's gonna wave her grandma stick at um sh shitty boy. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna try and cast Eldritch Blast again! Yes! <laughs> grandma Blast. magic. All right, eight plus five is thirteen, so I do not that hit. That does not hit. It smashes against him, but he's able to like shrug it off. <laughs> She's drunk spell casting. <laughs> uh, you have any? Yeah, other... Oh, just blast! Oh, just blast! Uh, anything uh, else you want to do, or am I allowed to yell at the crowd? You're allowed to yell at the crowd. I'm gonna be like. A drink for anyone who can help us take down that ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, roll a, a persuasion check, please. You got it. Son of a beastie. All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. That is a nine plus five is 14. Okay. Uh, yeah, this uh, halfling right over here um, struts forward and says... Well, I don't like Tarina that much, but this guy seems like a bigger bully, and I hate him a lot. So, yeah, fuck it. I'll help you. My name's Willow, Willow Brownbug. You've probably met them before, but they don't remember your name. Uh, okay. Yeah, you've probably introduced yourself, like, several times, but they're like, Hey, Willow, pleasure meeting you. <laughs> like, <laughs> Nice. Yeah. They say, all right, Willow. Interested. Tico's interested. <laughs> Tico thinks he's a shithead. Can Tico get a drink? Tico, you already owe me <laughs> so many already. rounds. Fine, I'll get you one too. Bisha, Bisha, Serene's offering free drinks if you hit the dude. <laughs> uh, two swords, two swords, two swords. And this, she actually will. Is it she or he? Are they? I don't. Know. It's Willow. Eh, whatever. Willow. She walks up and uh, uh, casts. What would be the most good? Yeah, she kind of like she she steps over, uh, like near. She's on top of 
Tarina, and she casts Thunder Wave. Oh, hell yeah. Um, all right. Is that a save? Con save. Okay. Failed. Mm. Extremely failed. Uh, so uh, the um, bandit takes... Two swords says, that's okay, Willow. I loved your movie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one. All right, this one dies. Uh, gets blasted through this door into this, like this door right here to E12. If you, can you see the E's on the yeah. okay. No. No. Okay, no worries. <laughs> That's E12, everyone. Sorry. Uh, nice. Gets blasted into yeah. this room uh, and falls. Uh, and uh, the dead eye takes. Uh, Is, is, is he's hurting? He's ouchieing. Oochie oochie. What does this fifteen mean? I don't know. Okay, uh, that was Willow's turn. Pesha, you're now up. There's one right. bandit downstairs that you can kind of hear ru ruffling, and then there's Dead Eye right in front of you. I would like to take on Dead Eye. Uh, I snort, which is something I only do when I get mad. Otherwise, it's considered real impolite. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> And I take up my axe and I just go charging bowl style. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so oops. <laughs> oh dear. Uh seven. Uh that that does not that does not yeah. seven, unfortunately. Okay. I'm sorry. So I'm big, but I swing and a miss. Okay. That's okay. Um the uh Bandit from before, uh, you hear, Hey, don't worry about it, buddy. Uh, you're doing all right. And um, I know how to play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, and you see two more. Um, you see one more. You see the one that you got, that got pushed down there, and plus another uh, bandit come up. Uh, but they stop at the landing of the... Uh, uh, oops. Uh, of the landing of the of the stairway up. Um, oops. Oops. How do I get rid of Oh, clicky. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Dead Eye looks at you, Pesha, and like, uh, but like not really, because his depth perception's off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen a Minotaur around from some time. This will be fun. Does a beep bop a doop? Oh, Jesus, does a sixteen hit your AC? Uh, does it hit if it's equal? It, no, it, right? Yes, it does. If it oh, it does. It okay. Yes. Then yes. All right. You take six points of damage. Ugh. Um, two swords. He stabs. Jesus Christ. Uh, does a oh, no. twenty-four hit? That's my job. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, you take six points of damage. Wow. Oof. Uh, and then he uh, uh, shifts over and attacks Willow. <laughs> of course I miss against everyone's favorite character, Willow. Uh, yeah. Alright, next up uh, is uh, <laughs> another bottle comes flying. And uh, <laughs> yeah, then uh, Deadeye takes two points of damage. Yes! And, uh, <laughs> A bottle crashes against his head. Stop fucking throwing bottles! That's really <laughs> shitty in a situation like this, okay? Quit it! I'm not playing around here. Like, ah! And then he <laughs> runs away and, like, <laughs> runs through this door that uh, back here. Uh, next up is Two Swords! There's two right, bandits. Right, and right. then there's uh, Deadeye being mm. mean, mean looking. You guys should have been you know what? Yeah. Well, he's getting points. he's getting the that two really swords. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna attack him with two swords. I'll do the first one. Two swords. Two, uh, swords. <laughs> Fourteen. Shit, that's one short. One short. It? That misses. All right, here comes the other one. Fifteen. Woo! If it meets a beam. Yay! You connect. Yay with me. Uh, three plus. You think I'd have it memorized right now? Play this character forever. It's six damage. Cool beans, baby. Oh, that's not how I do it. Let's try to do math. When I don't 
don't have to. <laughs> yes, you can just do minus six and bing, bang, boom, it's there. I love Hell it. yeah. Whoa. I don't even have to do the math my own damn self. Now the stream will stop screaming at me. <laughs> How dare you How dare yell you? at them yeah. for your incompetence? I'm sorry. Once you get a certain age, you, you forget how to do basic math. Uh, anything else, Two Swords, my friend? Directly after high school. <laughs> yeah. uh, nope. I was going to hit something, but I wanted him to die first. So It's okay, buddy. Uh, I feel like you forget your math as soon as you forget your cursive handwriting. Maybe, maybe yeah. a little bit afterwards. I can barely write my own name in yeah, cursive anymore. Uh, Tico, you are up now. Same situation, basically. Two bandits that are just coming up the stairs now, and this big boy who's starting to look a little worse, but not not fourth edition bloodied by any means. Ooh, that's scary to hear. <laughs> um, this is one I'm of the gonna... things I was talking about. I was like, this adventure's hard. <laughs> no kidding. Well, I'm going to go stab him. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to run over this left side okay. over here. Give Serena a high five as I run past her. Yes! Go, good job! <laughs> and then spin my rebar and stab him in the face. Perfect. Nice. For a natural 20. Ooh. Oh, oh shit, yes! I will, do you need video evidence of this? Uh, there's, I mean, I could show you that I have a natural 20. I, I'll just believe you, but if you want to show this, you know, the... <laughs> It's a pain in the butt to do it, but I do promise. I do promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put a little pinky up. Uh, that would be a hot to do, do eight, I think, actually. No, eight, yeah, so in, in the, six, for those who are home, crit, 14. you roll damage dice twice. Oh, you roll damage twice? Okay. Yeah. I just double the dice. So that's Yeah, seven. just double the dice. Um, oh, just double the dice? Yeah. Okay. You don't add modifier eight, twice, eight, though. 16. So. Yeah. Uh, 21 points of damage. Holy fuck. Shit. Nice. Yeah, done. take that. Uh, he's like, what the fuck did you just stab me with, dude? <laughs> I don't know. I found it on the street. That's it. And I'm going to scuttle back. <laughs> See you later, bitch. He hit something. <laughs> he hit something. Ow. I would say your pride, but you don't have any. Hey! I did many great. Th I I survived one mutiny, and then did my own mutiny myself. <laughs> What's that? Nobody knows your name. People know me. Your name is what's it's a distinguishing factor about you. What's that say? I'm Tico Grayface, bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah, Tico. Uh, uh, Saren, you're. <sighs> All right. Um, <laughs> she's gonna get up on the table. And she's gonna yell, "Nobody bullies my grandkids!" <laughs> and she's gonna try to eldritch blast. Uh, oh, what's his nuts? I forget how spry she is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All so six great. seconds of this is climbing up on the table. Like, oh, yeah, pretty oh, much. Oh. <laughs> All right. Ooh, let's see. Seventeen plus five. I assume I hit. <laughs> All right. So one d ten. I got a two. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, it, it slams into him. He's already not looking great. He looks even less great. He's like, oh, this is supposed to be a simple job. I didn't know she hired witches and goblins and minotaurs and dragonborn. What the fuck are you guys, people? Uh, and then uh, 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 Pesha, you're up. All right. I'm going to take another swing at our not looking so great little friend over there. Mm hmm. Ooh, okay. Uh, 16? That hits. Will hit. Yep. All right. So. Fuck him up. Fuck. Five. That's all you needed. What does it look like when you kill? Yes! Um, <laughs> yeah. Goblin. Yeah. All right. I take. Leckard, dead eye, cadaverous. I refuse to learn his name. <laughs> dead eye is fine. Uh, I take a wind up with my big double bladed axe and I take it not to the head because that's a smaller target. I go right into the belly and it sinks in with a nice Oof. wet crunch. Ooh, Ooh good shit. Uh, dead eye, more like know. dead guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seeing their uh, quote unquote captain uh, 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 die. Disemboweled. Disemboweled. Uh, with, with his his stomach falling like snakes on the ground, the other two are like, "Oh, sorry," and then they throw down uh, like 
three copper pieces and run away. Like, sorry, sorry for the trouble. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Wait, we need to interrogate you. <laughs> <laughs> and then they disappear downstairs. Uh, all right, congrats. You did it. You won this time. We did we, though? Did you, though? We stabbed the Did you, though? Um, are they? The, Wait. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, I guess I can't. Never mind. I was gonna take their copper and throw it at him. Uh, Willow. Um, hey, that's that's a drink, man. Don't. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> like, wow, that was a, that was scary. <laughs> oh my god. For you. <laughs> Do you guys want to? Loot Never the fear, body? small friend. I pat his yeah, head. Yeah, loot the bod. Uh, loot the bod. Yeah. Loot that body. And very few um, creatures are always given the, the loot. Uh, so as you're kind of looking around as the bar is uh, slowly coming, uh, calming down, uh, inside Deadeye's vest is a pouch, excuse me, um, t con containing uh, 32 gold and 15 Ooh. silver pieces. Uh, he also wears two golden necklaces worth 25 gold each, you'd assume. Uh, and a black and gold ring with a white pearl set in it, you would assume that's worth 125 gold each. Mm, uh, nice. The other uh, pirates Oops. that you killed um, have four silver pieces and uh, two silver pieces, respectively. Um, Chico's going to walk over to that body, toss the coin purse... To the others, and he's gonna like, put on the jewelry. Yeah! <laughs> Takes that ring, puts it on his thumb, because it's probably the only limb that fits. <laughs> hey guys, how I look? It looks perfect on you, Tico. Spiffy. Mm. Well, that was a strange one. You ring. still look short. <laughs> Comes out <laughs> behind. What? Oh, there's a compliment. Saren's gonna turn to Ulrich and Willow and be like, appreciate the help, and she's gonna dig uh, four silver out of the little coin purse we got and gives two to each of them. Drinks on me! Hey, no worries. Uh, hope to see you guys soon. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. This, is, <laughs> this sucks. Um, good luck with whatever it is that you're doing. All right, good so, luck on your plays. <laughs> did Tarina have associates with her? <laughs> Uh, gonna... <laughs> I, I, I was just drinking with her. I don't really know her. I'm sorry. Uh, she's just going to look from her body to her head and her body to her head and her body. Her <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I'm going gonna... to. I got an idea. If I hold the head on the body and then you do like one of your spell things. <laughs> no. I fear that maybe. You know what? You should try it. In the meantime, uh, so none of her associates stuck around or know anything. Yeah, like I, I just we okay. were just drinking. She needed someone to drink with. I don't know, man. I uh, so I didn't even I didn't even fucking help her in the fight. You know why would I? <laughs> well, you are cowards, and surely this will reflect on you in the afterlife. <sighs> oh it. shit! Uh, whatever, man. And then I go to loot oh. her body. <laughs> oh. um, I, I can I loot her body, but like just like for documents or. Yeah, go ahead, please. please. While while Pesh is doing that, can I reverse pickpocket and put one of the necklaces in her pouch? In my pouch or in the no, dead yeah, body's your, pouch? Your pouch. In I Pesh's pouch. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, 26. Oh, shit. Wait, no, I believe it's actually much higher. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, twenty-eight. Yeah, uh, I guess. Damn. Um, uh, 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 Pesha, what's your passive perception? It is twelve. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> you don't feel it now, but you just got a significantly richer. Um, or twenty-five gold richer, theoretically, if you sell it. Uh, yeah. There's, there's like, um, let me roll this here. Uh, there's twelve gold on Tarina. Um, nothing else very, um, specific. She has a, and that 12 gold is a mix of her actual coin purse and, um, uh, jewels and, and rings and things of that nature. So, uh, yeah. 
I will donate this in honor of her doubtless blackened soul. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you guys are at an impasse right now, and we're just over at 4 o'clock, or after 4 o'clock. So we'll figure out how you guys are going to get out of this mess next week. Um, 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 Whoa. The Happy Hell Hour presents uh, uh, Descent into Avernus. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thanks for running. Yeah, that was Great this job, everyone. Uh, as soon as I started reading this adventure, this is the num. Well, there's another one that's really fucking hard. But this is the number <laughs> one thing that I was like, how's this going to work? Because the, the book tells you to send eight people out plus him and he's a bandit captain with 65 hit points 68 hit points. Holy okay. shit. with three attacks like plus five like he could literally kill one of you per turn yeah so, yeah uh, yeah i i i got thanks for... really really quick yeah, yeah. yikes and cause, cause, you're good yeah because <laughs> <help. laughs> if you try to like a level one character trying to hit a 15 ac is like not super easy unless you rolled really well for your stats. For you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, but yeah, uh, as I said, at the top, we will be every Tuesday at twitch.tv slash geeklyinc, Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern for the next foreseeable future. We'll see how far. We're not promising that we're going to do the entire adventure because, you know, we're free now during the day, but who knows. Um, but the goal is to go as long as we can and, and without any strings attached and so forth and so on. Thank you so much for uh, watching uh, wherever it is. If you're listening to it sometime in the future in podcast form, uh, as we say, we're probably not going to be as perfect at describing things that have visual elements because this is a, um, a stream first. Uh, and I, I hope to learn Roll20 a little bit better. Can we go around the horn and say where folks can fo find you? Starting with you, Kim. Oh, if you want to tweet at me, you can find me at Kim Caddies. That's at K-Y-M-C-A-T-T-Y-S. I'm also on a big anime podcast called Transformation Sequence. So give it a listen if you like anime and give it a listen even if you don't. Yeah. Um, you can also find me on Love to Hate and Wintercrest Podcast, which are both also very fun. Uh, I've been on that podcast. Uh, the yes. Anime ones. So you should listen to those episodes. I, am, I on, am I on Haikyuu? What episode am I on? I forget. Um, oh shit, you've been on a couple. Or, like you've was done... that a Berserk? Yes, yeah. Berserk was one. That was right after my surgery, so I remember like vague bits of wandering <laughs> in and out. <laughs> well, th the reason why I get confused is because uh, when Jennifer would guest back in our old apartment, I would be like next to her, but I couldn't do anything because our apartment was so small. So, yeah. uh, uh, Tia, where can folks find you? So you can find me at Oladdy Girl on Twitter. Uh, you can also find me on Geekly Inc. doing reviews of books, comics, and other print media. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Tia is a uh, machine when it comes to book reviews, and uh, it's, that feels like it's a, a, a area of the net that's not served as much. So, yeah, if you're ever looking for books to read, check out uh, Geekly Inc. and uh, click on the, the, the tab or like look specifically for Tia and there's a few other folks that uh, write there as well for the book stuff but she kills it over there. Uh, Justin, where can folks find you? Hello. If you want to tweet at me, you can find me on Twitter at oh no, Justin no. Uh, there you can probably see the release date of my new book with Curtis Weeb, the creator of Rat Queens. Oh, cool. yes! uh, hopefully in the Ooh. next few weeks, maybe a few months. Um, if you want to just look at my art and f see random pictures of my cats, uh, you can follow me on Instagram under I am just no. Perfect. And I Pat. have no podcast. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you don't have no podcast. I'm uh, at the Pat Edwards on Twitter, and uh, my website's thepatedwards.com. You can go there for updates on things like my second book, which will be coming out next year, 2020. Yay! It's a sequel Whoa. to Space Tripping. Hell yeah! yeah it's Hell in production. Yeah. Um, and I also have a podcast called Let's Rewatch, where we take movies we loved in our youth and see if they're still any good. They hold up. Uh, they often don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tim has been on. Tim and Jenner have been on. Plenty of your geekly faves have been on. And I hope to get uh, these other three fine folks on in the near future at some point. 
Hell yeah. So we can ruin one of their child's favorite childhood movies. I volunteer <laughs> as we tribute. Yeah, we did. Um, <laughs> yes, please. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and that movie is bad. It's a bad movie. It's Alan Rickman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much again, everyone. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, at Tim Lanning. You can find all the other stuff that we do over at geeklyinc.com, or you can find the other uh, D&D adjacent things over at D&D Podcast on Twitter. We're also under Greetings Adventurers on Instagram, I think it is. So go follow that. Nika is uh, doing a great job there. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.